I've found over the years that the, the main time I see fish is in the morning. So that's the most important period for me. You know, I'll spend hours and hours, days even, you know, and almost camp for the night. It's not about rod hours, you know. Sometimes it can be. As soon as you're in the right location, you've got to put them rod hours in, but you've got, you've got to find them fish. I fish very reactive, you know, but I, I do like to find all the fish first and then process, if I can, and then process where I really need to be, what's the best opportunity or which is the better fish. You then get to be one step ahead of the fish, you know, you're almost like, well, I've seen this before, I know where they're going or what they're up to, you know, and, and that's when that information becomes priceless. First sight for me is the most important part of my fishing, you know, when I'm, I, I'm a very visual angler, you know, and, and reactive almost, you know. I wouldn't say that I'm moving all the time, every minute of every day, but I'm always looking. And the most important, I say most important, any time is important as, as any, but I've found over the years that the, the main time I see fish is in the morning. So that's the most important period for me. You know, a lot of people say, got to be there, uh, be awake at first light. You got to be up and awake before first light. For me, I, I travel a long way, you know, so I'll be forever setting alarms. You know, real early, early hours in the morning to get down to the pond for first light. Generally, I'll be setting off 12, 1 o'clock in the morning to get down to the pond for three, four o'clock just to beat that first light. Obviously, that changes throughout the year, but it's it's massively important. You anyone who's not getting up at first light or before first light is totally missing a trick. You know, that is the fish's main feeding time. If they're going to be showing themselves, that's the time they're going to be doing it. You know, location's everything. You know, if you can locate where them fish are at that time of day, it's generally the feeding time, speaks for itself, that's where you need to be. Soon as that alarm goes off in the morning, I am all guns blazing. I'm literally like a kid at Christmas, like, because it's just like, I'm addicted to it, I'm proper like, oh, it even frustrates me going to sleep. You know, a lot of people say about, you know, they never really see me asleep. You know, it's very rare that anyone will see me asleep. You know, I'll be up late at night, I'll be up in the night, and I'll be up at first light, and they're thinking, when, when's he actually sleeping? And, you know, this isn't me blowing my own trumpet, I'm just saying it as it is. I get home and I'm absolutely knackered, you know? Not all the time, sometimes fishing can be quite easy. You know, you turn up, you locate them, you get it right, catch a few fish. But even then, I'm still up just listening for that possible chance of a move. Are the fish moving? I need to know. Are they still there? I need to know, you know, because that's the way I fish. If I go home, I, I basically I go work for a rest. I know that sounds bad, but if I get home and I'm not knackered, I know I've probably not worked as hard as I, I probably could have. At the same time, you've got to remember to have a good night's sleep sometimes, you know, and I don't just mean that fishing. You know, generally my best night's sleep will be the night before. You know, my mate, my, I almost tell my mind that, you know, you, you've got a long hard session coming in front of you. You know, no matter what, even if you think it might be an easy session coming, just plan for an hard one. And that first night's sleep before I'm going to fishing, you know, that, that's the most important sleep to me because it could be a couple of days before I get another good sleep. You know, generally I'll be piecing in little naps here, little naps there, two hours here, 20 minutes there. You know, if I found a stalking opportunity and I've got a rod in the edge, then I'm just gonna have a little nap, you know, the rod's fishing, you know, and sometimes that can actually pay off, you know, because if you're up and down the tree and looking and watching, you know, that can sometimes spook the fish or you can get impatient for them fish to come back. So, I mean, generally, I like to get a good sleep when I can, but I don't know, like, it's a, it's a really hard one, really, you know, because I don't like to sleep, but at the same time, you really do need to think about charging up. One of the main things I say is about keeping hydrated. You know, when I'm working really hard, especially when it's sunny, you know, you've got to keep hydrated. I can think of many a time where I've almost burnt myself right into the ground by not drinking a lot of water. But obviously sleep's a lot and very important, but you know, sleep when you're dead, man. When I'm getting up at first light, I'm looking for absolutely everything. There's all sorts of signs going on out there. Everything is going on. Fish are so active at that time in the morning. By active, I mean they're going to be showing. There's hatches going to be going off if it's in the spring. The birds are going to be really active. You know, everything's there for you to see.